Now that we looked how to create threads, I want to take a look briefly at the difference between threads and processes. Because at first glance, they look much the same thing, right? We're just executing uh, just some code at the same time, right? With threads, we have a function we execute with. With processes, we just execute the, the, the code from fork onwards. By the way, if you haven't watched the uh, playlist about processes, I do suggest you first go ahead and watch that. I have a link up top and uh, because this is going to be sort of a continuation to this, to that uh, playlist. Anyway, moving forward. Um, so what is actually the difference? Now to illustrate the difference between the two uh, concepts, threads and processes, I'm going to have here two uh, main files. The left one is going to be implemented using threads and the right one we're going to implement everything using processes and we're going to see the difference be between the two in here so first things first let's create two processes and two threads uh, on each of the source files so that we have something to work on so to create two processes we can simply call here uh, int uh, pid equals fork of course if pid is negative one then we return an error that's simple as that and well if pid is not zero then we should wait of null for the child process to finish its execution so that's simple enough and if we print here something like i don't know hello uh, from processes let's say and i launch this we should get to uh lines of text down here so that's straightforward i think that's pretty self-explanatory now uh, let's do the same thing with threads so with threads we have to create a function we have to say void pointer this has to be a void pointer i'm gonna call it again routine that's simple enough and then uh, i'm gonna i guess just say printf hello from threads this time and as we've seen in the previous video just say p thread t t1 then we say p thread create uh the address of t1 null and the routine then null here as well as the arguments we don't need any arguments and p thread join t1 and no uh, we don't care about the return values and of course i'm going to check for errors so i'm going to do something like if uh, if this then return one and if this then return two let's say and if we try to launch this we only get uh, one line of text on the terminal so we're gonna have to call this one more time so I'm gonna create another thread here so p thread create t2 and of course de define it here gonna change these error codes so that they are different copy the join t2 and that's about it so we're creating again two threads they both call routine and we should see this message printed twice on the terminal so now if i try to launch this you will notice we get this twice fair enough so that works now let's say i want to print first the process ids right what happens if i print the process ids in here i say process id percent d and to get a process id you just call get feed and if i try to launch this we should get two different numbers right we got 25932 and 25938 so we got two different process ids so that's expected what happens if we do the same with threads so if instead say this we're gonna call we're gonna say process id process id percent d and then say get p all right and launch this what's gonna happen well you will notice that you actually get two of the same ids so what's going on here why are they not different that is because processes can contain multiple threads right so you can have multiple threads inside a single process but of course you cannot have multiple processes inside a single thread so sort of processes encompass the environment of threads and you can have multiple of them that is one 
difference. Now, the second difference is regarding the address space. Remember whenever we work with processes, I said, okay, when uh, we're forking, we are duplicating all the variables into the fork, into a child process. So we get two different variables, basically, one on each process, and we can modify them individually. But with threads, there's a big difference where we have all the variables in the same place. So all threads can access all variables and they all have a common very uh, common set of variables, a common address space. What we can do to illustrate this is first we can do a simple addition. We can have here a variable in x equals two inside the processes uh, source code. And what we can say is if p is zero, so if we are in the child process, increment this x, okay? And I want to print this x value on the terminal, but uh, to make sure that we are actually incrementing it and then we are printing it on both processes, I'm gonna first sleep for, let's say two seconds, and that's gonna, that sleep is gonna occur for both processes. And then we're gonna print a uh, value of x, by expression, actually, something like that and just x here and we no longer need this print f with the process id now if i try to execute it a an interesting thing will happen and it is well for one process value of x was two and for another value of x was three and since we waited we are sure that this operation occurred but as you can see uh only in one of the process the x variable got incremented. On the other one, it stayed the same uh, as it was initialized. Now, if we do the same with threads, how can we do that? Now, to check that with threads, a bit more tricky than that. So I'm gonna create another function, call it routine, oops, routine two, and I'm gonna change the second thread to actually call this function. So uh, thread one is gonna call this, and thread two is gonna call this. And thread one, what it's gonna do is, well, we have here a variable x equals to two, as we said, I'm gonna do x plus plus, and I'm gonna sleep for two seconds. And after it, I'm just gonna print f, well, whatever I printed in here, so I'm gonna write it again, just that. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the second thread, except I'm not gonna increment it. So we're just going to uh, increment it in the first thread. Now let's see what actually happens. If I try to launch this, you will notice that the value of X is actually three on both uh, threads, right? So even though we have only incremented it here in the thread one, say, thread two went along and slept for two seconds like this one. So we made sure that this printf was executed after the x plus plus, and we have in fact printed on the screen the exact value that was incremented by thread one. So all in all, threads are sharing memories. This x, if you add a number to it, even if I add here x uh, plus equals five, anything, if I do anything in one thread and execute it, of course, it's gonna be seen in the other thread, as you can see here. And that is the one, one of the biggest differences between threads and processes. So aside from those two uh, differences are that, well, with threads, all of the threads actually share the file handlers, whereas with processes, all the file handlers are duplicated. Uh, all the, really all the system resources are shared between all the threads on a process. Uh, the security context is shared and so on and so forth. But these are just details that we're gonna get into at some point. The biggest difference is that they share memory, but there comes a trade-off because since they share memory, that means that there could be certain issues when it comes to certain threads modifying the same variable and that's what we're gonna get into at a later point but this is what i wanted to keep in mind 
for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you do have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below or on our Discord server. The source codes for both of these programs are gonna be on our website. I'm gonna leave a link straight to them on uh, in the description below. You can check it down there, download it, execute it, whatever you want to do with it. All right, take care, bye.